Hi guys, my name is Vanessa Schneider and I'm on the Google for Media team and I specialize in teaching journalists like yourself how to get the most out of our many mapping tools. Today I'm going to talk to you about Google Fusion Tables and a new feature we've just recently launched um, that allows you to create legends that you can then automatically apply to your maps. If Fusion Tables is brand new to you, I encourage you to go to google.com slash fusion tables to learn more. So over the next couple of minutes, let's, let's show you how to make those legends for your maps. So if we go to a map, I've actually already created a map with, with certain map styles and as well as a legend, just so I can show you where we're going over the next couple minutes and what we'll be building. So let's talk about the data I'm using. So here I actually merged two tables. The first table included the boundary data for the Australian states and territories. And then the second table, um, I got that data from the organization Karma and includes a list of the power plants in Australia, including the carbon emissions for output for 2007. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to summarize all of the emissions output for 2007 in a given boundary. So you can see here when I click on an info window, I've actually summarized uh, that output. So I'm just clicking around here. And then, and then you'll see here that I've applied a map style already. So in the Northern Territory with the lighter green, less emissions. And then in, for instance, New South Wales with the deeper green, I wanted to signal um, a higher amount of carbon emissions for 2007. Okay, so now let's talk about building that legend. So here I already have another table prepared minus the map styles and legend. So let's go up here to tools and go to change map styles. And under polygons, we want to go to fill color and then select gradient. And then you want to select show a gradient and choose the column that we want to set the gradient to. Um, and I want to select the, the carbon column. And then I want to use the range here that it's populating from the data in my, in my table. And I like the colors and I like the range. And so now I want to hit save. And so now we've applied the gradient to the map. So now let's, let's do the legend because I want to tell my readers, uh, you know, what these colors mean and what numbers we're working with. So go to tools and go to change map styles. And here on the left, you'll see an automatic legend option. Select that and go here to the checkbox and select show polygon fill legend. And you'll see a field here. You can actually change the title of your legend. So I'm going to do tons CO2. And you can actually change uh, the position of your legend. I like the bottom right corner, so I'm going to leave it as is. And then you can actually choose to link to your source table, um, which I will do. And you can also change the text uh, that's going to link. But I like source. That looks good to me. So I'm going to select Save. And there you go. Now I have my legend on my map. And that didn't take any kind of... Uh, any kind of code or um, development to, to make happen. It's just automatic within Fusion Tables. And I know this is a feature many of you guys have been asking us for, uh, so I hope you enjoy this. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below this video. Thanks.